Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and if this is your first time stopping by, please subscribe. So welcome to fall maintenance routine because there's just so much that I have to get together with my life right now. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I'm behind in some of like just my upkeep or yeah, like I haven't organized my room in a long time, my closet, I haven't gotten a facial in a while and my nails look so bad right now. Like there's just a lot that we need to get through so i was already gonna do this this weekend and i figured i would just vlog it and take you all along with me so this vlog is basically get my life together with me <laughs> so if you're also someone who's been putting off a lot of things hopefully this video is just for you so right now i'm going to the nail salon i literally just have the most basic outfit on have this crew neck from school i have <laughs> sweats on and then i'm probably putting sneakers on i'm just so happy because it's been raining for a week straight and i'm not exaggerating a week straight in new york it's been flooding too so a lot of the boroughs have been flooding like i don't know if you've been seeing videos of brooklyn literally underwater right now it's just insane like what is this weather climate change is here it's real yeah like it is just it's been a really rough week for new york weather wise so it just feels nice to finally have some sun coming back in it's just a lot nicer out it's calm now so i'm trying to get all the things that i've been pushing off for weeks now because of the bad weather so right now i'm heading to the nail salon which i don't even have an appointment so so i have no idea if they're gonna turn me away so we're just gonna hope for the best <laughs> and yeah i'm just literally doing what i usually do which is powder gel with my real nails i really don't care for acrylic anymore unless it's for like a special occasion or something like a vacation something like that but on a regular day i really just like having my natural nails done i just like the way it looks and it's a lot more functional for me because i'm someone who doesn't really function well with long nails so yeah i just like to keep it short and simple so this is what i had before as you can see it's growing out and if you look at the other hand two of the fingers literally completely came off so it's just looking a little crazy right now. I've been buying coffee a lot this week, which I usually don't do. So I'm back to my roots, <laughs> which is making my own. So this is just an iced latte with brown sugar syrup. So we're in my room now and I just want to basically start taking away a lot of the summer things that I have. So there are things on here. As you can see, my closet, well, my fake closet, I don't actually have a closet because of how small my room is. But as you can see, my clothing rack is very crammed. There's just a lot going on. And I'm planning to shop in the next few weeks or I have been shopping and I have no room to put some of my things. And a lot of these things I haven't even worn since the beginning of the summer or even the springtime. So... We're just going to move some things out to make room for some other things to come in. So usually what I do is I just go through everything one by one and figure out if I need it 
or if I don't. And usually for my closet, I like to put things close to color for the most part. So as you can see, like all of my cream color and whites are here. I have a lot of like my orange and yellows in the middle. It just makes it easy. So when I'm thinking of whichever outfit I'm looking for, like, oh, I need to look for my orange shirt. I know to look there. This dress I haven't even worn all summer, to be honest. It's from Zara. And the last time I wore this was last summer. So it's definitely time to put it away. And by the way, the way I usually store clothes for different seasons is I have to literally put things in my suitcase under my bed because I just have no space. So I'm in the basement room of my house and there's no closet in here. There's no storage. So any kind of storage I basically bought for myself. So I have a dresser outside and then I have this clothing rack. And honestly, it's very doable. It makes me account or keeps me accountable to not buy things that I don't need because I really don't have a lot of space so I try to shop wisely because I know I don't have a huge walk-in closet that I can just depend on this I'll keep this is definitely more of a summer outfit so gonna put this under my bed this is also a summer dress I wore this in London and I got it from the Stott sample sale so I think I'm just gonna save it for whenever it gets warm again. My favorite dress of the summer called Gaia Dress. Literally have worn this so many times, but I'm gonna put it under my bed for when summertime or vacation comes around. But yeah, I just, I'm gonna miss this dress. <laughs> under my bed, under. My star dress from the summer definitely should probably go under because this is very much a summer spring dress. So we'll bring her back out next year. Another summer dress under under so as you can see it's a lot less crowded now so i'm gonna start bringing out some of the sweaters that i wore last year so i haven't brought out everything from last year yet all of my fall winter clothes because we're still in that transitional period where like i looked at the weather for next week and it's supposed to be in the 80s like the whole week or at least half of the week so i'm not really bringing out all my turtlenecks until the weather is consistently colder but i do want to start bringing out some transitional things that i feel like i can easily wear right now so i am the most excited to bring out this sweater dress kind of situation from and other stories i think this is my most complimented fall winter item anytime that i wear this people stop me and ask me where i got it from like they just love this sweater rightfully so because the color the fit of it how it just curves so nicely to your body and the quality is amazing it was definitely an expensive sweater i don't even regret for one second buying this because it was so worth it also if it's not obvious i like to keep the same hangers for the most part because i think it just makes my closet look a lot cleaner especially because my clothing rack is out in the open so whenever i have a lot of clutter going on i feel like it instantly makes my room look cluttered so i try to keep it very simple for the most part this sweater i got from an h&m clearance section like two three actually more because i was in college i think when i bought this like maybe sophomore year or something and the fact that i've been wearing it and rocking this for so many years like i'm just such a believer in quality over quantity when it comes to shopping and even though lately i've moved away from fast fashion like I moved away from it, I still every now and then will still go to those kind of stores because I think you can find gems there for a really affordable price. I think the sweater was like maybe 11 to $15 and the fact that I've had it for five plus years probably or somewhere around there. So if you're trying to build a quality wardrobe, this is not even a fashion video, I don't even know why I'm ranting about this, but if you're trying to build a quality wardrobe, don't think that you have to spend a fortune. I think it's mostly going in person. I will say going in person has helped me a lot more than online shopping because I can feel things and see how they look, see if it's already, you know, threads falling out of it, if it already looks cheap and old before I even bought it. That really helps a lot. So because I shop quality over quantity, I end up keeping the same clothes for years in a row and I'm able to bring them out every year and they still look brand new. They still look decent. They wash well. It saves me so much money and also space, like I said. So yeah, I think the older I get, the more I care about the things that I'm actually buying. But that doesn't mean I need to spend a fortune. It's all about having good judgment and knowing what's actually worth putting in your closet over time. So just, you know, food for thought. I'm definitely bringing out all of my leather pants. I have a pretty decent leather pants collection. I have not been a big jeans girl lately. I love leather pants though because you can definitely make them casual or you could dress them up. So these are from Aritzia. I have two pairs from this place because I think that they have really good quality leather pants. They're a bit pricey, but I wear them so much and they still look pretty good. So, oh, by the way, this is the Molina pants. I think that's what they're called. Bringing out some more crew necks. So I have this mango crew neck that I got last year and I don't know why. I just saw it and loved the pattern of it. And I think because it's white and black, I just knew that I could style it a bunch of ways. And yeah, even though it's white and black, it still has a little something interesting going on. I'm excited for blazer season. So this one is from Target from the brand A New Day. And I love that brand. They're so good. Like, 
they're generally one of my favorite brands. I put them next to some of my other favorite stores like Mango and other stories. A new day from Target is that girl. So more blazers, of course. So this one is from H&M. I think I got it in their clearance section. It's a very oversized, like it almost fits as a jacket even. So I definitely plan to style a lot of fall fits with this this year. Floors are drying right now, but the last thing that I have to do, which I've been putting off for so long, is to clean my makeup brushes. So I'm embarrassed to even say how long it's been since I washed my brushes. Like, it's just the one thing that I dread doing. I could do any other chore, but for some reason, cleaning my brushes just feels so tedious. And I always say I'm gonna do it next week, and then the week after that, and the week after that, and before you know it, it's been so long before I've washed it. And that's not good. Like, I really want to get into the habit where I'm cleaning it at least every two weeks. But yeah, like I'm just really lazy when it comes to doing that. So this is the perfect time. Since I'm already organizing my room, cleaning everything, I figured I would just get to cleaning my makeup brushes. So I got this from Sephora. It's their brand and it's pretty good. Like honestly, oh. it cleans all of the makeup out of my brushes so quickly and it's so gentle. It doesn't have any harsh smell. So definitely one of my favorite ones. And it's super, super affordable compared to a lot of other makeup brush cleaners. So I would recommend getting this one. But yeah, let's go clean these brushes. <laughs> It's like 10 a.m. now. I'm heading to get a facial and a wax. So like I said, I've been so behind with upkeep and I'm just trying to catch up on everything that I've been putting off for the past couple of months. So the outfit's really simple. I'm also going bare face because obviously facial, they make you wash your face right before. So I'm just wearing some sunscreen right now. And this top is from Aritzia. This skirt, of course, is from Mango. And then my shoes are probably going to be my Chloe sandals because it's kind of warm today. It's like that warm fall weather, you know, so I don't want to be too hot. And then for tote bag, we're just going to carry this one that I bought last week from The Strand. I might try to go to do like a mini food shopping, which I also ordered from HelloFresh this week. So it's going to be my first time using them because I struggled so much with having ideas for meal prep and I was so sick of eating the same three meals every freaking week. Like it was just getting so annoying. So I'm trying it out because my cousin tried it out and she really likes it. So I was like, let's see if I'll like it. So I'm not really planning to do a huge food shopping today. It's more just things like frozen fruit for my smoothies, things like that. So perfume, she's almost done. I bought this almost two years ago now. So I think it was definitely worth its money because it lasted me a while. But this is Gentle Fluidity by MFK. I can never pronounce his name. Fran Francis Cordijon. I don't know, but it smells really good. My original wax appointment was supposed to be after my facial, but they just texted me and said they had to cancel. So I had to last minute book another one that's actually a lot sooner. So it made my morning a lot more rushed and less calm, but it's okay. Cause we finished getting ready. I think what helped is I don't have to do any makeup today, but yeah, this is the fit of the day. So I'm gonna head out. It's definitely gonna hopefully be a relaxing day. Get my facial, my wax, enjoy the nice weather. Oh, you lead me to paradise. been debating getting laser because I just cannot handle the wax pain. Well I could handle it but if I could avoid it 
yeah but i survived we're done so i'm gonna start heading to the facial place now So here is my skin after. It just feels so much more hydrated. I got some extraction, so I had like a pimple coming in here, so she was able to extract that. And anywhere else that I would have like maybe some inflammation and stuff. But it was so relaxing, very hydrating. She also recommended some products for me to use for my eczema, which is always nice. So yeah, I haven't been in a while, but I just reactivated my membership because I miss when I used to come here faithfully. Like I used to be here every month, and it was like the one time I'm one time of the month for me to really have self-care and be intentional about taking care of myself and you know sometimes you know I want to save money but I'm also like spend on things that actually make me feel good about myself so I don't know we'll see if I come back next month but I was in there like wow I miss getting this and I feel like I'm gonna spend that money on food anyway so might as well spend it on taking care of myself so so we got Trader Joe's I'm gonna do a quick haul before I put everything away we got pomegranates which I'm so happy about because typically around this time is when you stop seeing them as much because it's out of season but I got lucky and I think this was like the last two so very happy about that and then I got some brown sugar creamer so I always get more than one so I could take one to the office and leave one for when I'm at home save money on coffee I got a bunch of yogurt so I like to eat these in the morning before the gym um, like this would be my first breakfast of the day usually or sometimes a snack I got this which I started eating in the bus because I was just so hungry but it's everything and the uh, what was that okay it's everything and the elote greek style yogurt dip so it's pretty good I feel like it would be a lot or it tastes a lot better if it's warm because it tastes like straight out of the fridge so we'll see but I ended up buying it with these chips which as you can see I already started eating got some frozen fruit for my smoothies some sweet potato fries lemon ginger seltzer water and I was in the mood for Indian food tonight but didn't want to actually spend like money money on takeout so I bought the Trader Joe's version because I actually feel like it's pretty good like obviously it's not authentic Indian food but it's pretty good and it's pretty affordable too so I got the chicken tikka samosas and then I got lamb vindaloo so this is probably going to be my dinner for the night but I hope you enjoyed this maintenance vlog I feel so refreshed I'm just happy like I love when I get to check things off of my box that I haven't gone to do in a long time so it was really nice getting a facial even getting my nails done like they look so much better <laughs> than they did in the beginning of this video just enjoying the nice weather really getting in the tune so today's the first day of October so it was really nice to just start the month off with a reset like on top of my stuff treating myself pampering myself getting my life together so yeah it was really nice and hopefully you enjoy this video so i post on mondays at 3 p.m so please put the bell notification on so you can know whenever i post and i hope that everyone is staying safe enjoying the beginning of spooky season and i will see you in my next video Build you up